girl, whatever you like, you can do that. I am loving this. It is truly stunning. Look. Ooh, wee, beautiful. Michelle, me more me small football Barbie here. Hey Michelle, what's up? And I'm so excited because look. Ah, so today, myself and this beautiful, beautiful girl are gonna do a wee collab video for you guys, and I am super excited. Look at this mess, help me! Ah, oh, I have a perfect solution for you. But Amber, if you think your hair's a mess, personally, I think you look amazing no matter what. But here we go. I've got another one and yeah, I don't even know what colour this is. Let's see. Catch. Hi, she got it. Ooh, I like. And in the beautiful chocolate cherry. How cool are we actually throwing that the whole way from Scotland, right over the water, straight to the USA. Jeez, thank you so much, Michelle. You are so welcome, Amber, because you totally deserve it. You're so awesome, and you do so much for all of us in the hairless community, and just generally in the world. Excellent. All the way from Scotland, this is John Renault's Smart Lace Hoped in FS2V31V, also known as Chocolate Cherry from their chocolate collection. And as you guys know, this is a favorite of mine. Beautiful, beautiful. This is their heat defiant synthetic. So what that means is that you can use heat tools on this hair. I can't wait to try this on. I'm gonna put it on real quick. But check mine, check mine. I decided that since you're gonna do your whole chocolate cherry and look awesome, I'm gonna go for the new Palm Springs Blonde from John Renault, which is the FS17 slash 101S18. It is super bright, super ashy, and super awesome, and lighter roots um, than the eight. So yeah, let's get this review on the go. Wigs, like if I pop that on, it's not massively apparent where the lace is, but oh my goodness, it's so natural. Look, ooh wee, beautiful. So actually, I may not bother trimming this. Let's just get it on. Let's get it on and get started because it's so exciting. This is how the hot comes straight from box. It is heat defiant, so you can change up the shape of this if you want to, which is really, really awesome. Let's see what Amber's up to. Come on, Amber, hurry up. Before I put this coat on, I just want to explain to you guys a little bit about the cap construction. This is high heat synthetic fiber. The ultra fine HD fibers look and feel like human hair. This wig has a lace front. It's hand knotted, ready to wear, and virtually invisible. The lace front creates a natural looking hairline for off the face styling. It has a monofilament part that's on the left hand side. So remember that, that it's on the left hand side. This is a lightweight cap, has spaces in between the wefts to allow for ventilation. And it definitely keeps your scalp nice and cool. Okay, I'm gonna put Hote on and see what she looks like. Holy cow, I love this classic chin length bob so much. And Michelle knocked it in the ballpark with this chocolate cherry color. She knows me well. So the amazing Amber has just described to us a wee bit about the cap and obviously the cap in my hot is exactly the same. We have this left sided single monofilament parting which runs into your amazing lace front here. You have a bit of permatease, nothing major. You have your wefted sides, wefted back. Your gorgeous velvet covered ear tabs with metal stay to allow it to conform to your head. And a velvet nape with velcro adjusters. So yeah, 
it's kind of awesome. I love this wig. I've had this in so many shades. The review that I did myself was in the Shaded Mocha, but I thought today, let's do it in something different. And now that we have the new blondes out, let's just do it in one of those. What I'm going to do for you guys um, is show you how I use a bit of heat on this wig. Now you do have to stick to manufacturing guidelines and make sure you don't go too hot. If you go too hot with it, you will straighten it or curl it and you will, the fibres become rigid, they become stiff and it's not really ideal. What John and Rowe do recommend that you use for this, and I use actually in all my synthetic wigs, is the HD Smooth Detangler Spray. So before I start straightening it, I'm going to give it a quick squish. Mm, this stuff actually smells really nice as well. With the HD range, what you do get is one of these John Renault Easy Hair Combs. This is all you should be using to brush through your hair. Now, the reason for that, with these synthetic fibres, they are so fragile. Um, people have said to me before, you know, I've heard that HD wigs don't last as long. Personally, for me, it's not true. It depends how you care for your hair. You need to care for your hair in slightly different way when it's this fibre compared to standard synthetic and as well compared to human hair. So guys, let me just get straightening this slightly. I will show you what I do. Okay guys, so what I'm going to do is use my hair dryer. I am going to use this. This is my Label M hair dryer, professional, really good, adjustable heat. I can make sure it's not going too hot. I've actually got it on a cooler one. Then we have this cool shot button as well. If you feel it's too hot, you don't want to damage this amazing hair. So before I do that, I've put it into this left parting, remove that zigzag from it that it comes in. Time to show you. So I've used my hair dryer and I have totally straightened this out. So as you can see, you can absolutely change it. You can curl it as well, but I wanted mine nice and straight. Just to give you guys a few specs on this wig, the weight is 3.8 ounces. This is ready to wear lace front. And the approximate lengths are, this is 11.5 inches at the fringe. Crown is 12 inches. And the sides are eight inches long. And the nape is four inches. To give you an idea of this beautiful chocolate cherry color, also known as FS2V 31V, it's a black brown violet, medium red violet blend with red violet bold highlights. Take a look. The color is stunning. But look at that cut, folks. And what I love about this wig is that you can change the style because it is heat friendly. So if you wanted to add some waves, some curl, whatever you like, you can do that. I am loving this. Perfect for summer, perfect length, and so many things you could do with this awesome wig. It's just a great length. What do you think, Michelle? Michelle? What are your thoughts, Michelle? P.S. I'm loving your color. I absolutely agree. Honestly, Amber, you are so gorgeous and that is just totally your color. And like Amber saying, you can change it up. I've already done it. You saw me taking it straight from box and now I have my hot the way that I like to wear it. I do like it straight. Sometimes I'll add a bit of a beach wave. I just think it's amazing. And one thing I would totally recommend if this is hair, any heat safe wig from John and O, this HD Smooth Detangler has been created specifically for the hair. Now, it's not something that everybody buys and yet when people do eventually get it, they're like, I can't believe, I never used to use it. I use it now and I think it's amazing. But yeah, so Amber was talking about chocolate cherry, so maybe I should tell you a wee bit about Pam Springs Blonde. So, I know that it's easier to remember a shade name than a colour a lot of the time. I tend to like the numbers. I used to love just knowing a name. I'm like, why am I getting codes? I don't get it. Um, whereas nowadays I'm like, I kind of understand the codes. I'll pop a wee link down below actually for you guys that explains kind of basic decoding the numbers that you might see in a wig. And sometimes it can help. It certainly has helped me and guides me. I know that before I had even seen a picture of this, I saw the colour codes and I was like, yes, Pam Springs. Um, yeah, so let's explain Pam Springs to you gorgeous guys. Okay guys, so this is Pam Springs Blonde and 
The colour code for this is FS17 slash 101S18. So, in case you guys are wondering what that is, the description from John Renault of this shade, I'm going to read it because I forget it off the top of my head. Okay, so Pam Springs is described as a blend of light ash blonde with pure white natural violet finished with, I think gorgeous, a dark natural ash blonde root as you can see. Now, looking at this, you might look at this wig and think, actually Michelle, that looks really dark. The root is not dark, it's a very dark ash blonde. That's actually great colouring, that's very true to life. Right now, what you're seeing, true to life. Now, it can look like it's darker because you have such vibrant 101 shades, which is this white violet platinum that runs through this wig. It is truly stunning. If you have yellow undertones to your skin, then I feel that ashy colours are just phenomenal. If you are pink toned, then you might like the warmer shades. There are warmer shades available. The new blondes have got warmer shades. Obviously, you've seen Amber wearing that absolutely gorgeous violet shade and it is phenomenal. As she said, the lace front on this, it really truly is amazing. This mono parting is great. I know that um, a lot of people have said to me in the past, um, whether customers or whether just in general talking to me for information, the one thing that puts them off sometimes is with rooted wigs or darker shade wigs, it's more obvious it's a wig because sometimes there's double knotting or just the, the knotting technique, it looks bumpy at the front. And there are ways to hide that, but I don't feel with this that you have to. I mean, you do have roots. The roots are definitely much darker, as you can see, than the hair itself. However, look at the lace front on this. That is just incredible. I mean, it's truly, truly gorgeous. And you don't see those knots. It does not look totally fake. What I love with this as well, I mean, you can be kind of bonkers like me and fluff up. Sometimes I'll actually do that. I will have the front nice looking straight and I will just fluff up the rest of this hair. And you can do that. It is so amazing. Woo! This is awesome. High five. Virtual high five to Michelle. Boom, boom, <laughs> boom. Always use your wide tooth comb for your HD synthetic fibers like you would with your typical synthetic fibers. Use your typical synthetic hair care products when caring and washing your HD synthetic hair. However, there are a few other products you can use when heat styling your HD synthetic hair that you can use on your human hair as well. So they kind of are good for both HD synthetic and human, but not for your basic synthetic because as you know, you will not use heat on basic synthetic hair because what will it do? It will melt. When you use your HD synthetic fiber and you go to curl it, it is very wise to use your heat treat thermal spray. The heat treat thermal spray is really amazing. Um, if you want to buy it from me, I can only ship that within the UK due to the fact that it's considered a hazard item. But there are many sellers all over the world. For example, in America, there is Sister Wigs. You can buy it from them and they are local to you. There are so many companies. Anyway, you've seen me straighten this wig. Let's have a wee look at Amber doing a wee bit of curly business. This will help protect your HD synthetic fiber. It's only recommended to go as high as 270 to 280 degrees when heat styling your HD synthetic fiber. When you take a section to curl, spray a little bit of your thermal spray, add heat, and then clip your curl into place and let it cool. Okay, so I just did a few to give you an idea of how to curl and set that curl into place and allow it to cool. But once you allow those curls to cool, you will remove the pin and you'll notice that by allowing it to cool in place like that, it really helps set that synthetic fiber into place. I just kind of want a little bit of messy wave mixed in with my hoat. So I'm not really curling everything, but just adding some movement. If you wanted to add a little bit more texture, you could use your contour fiber creme. You only need a little bit and that will piece out the ends 
and add even more fun texture to this cute style. Michelle, you're rocking your hoat over there in Scotland. Let me show you guys this from all sides. Keep in mind, I did make my hoat look a little tousled and messy, but that was the intention here. From the front, let's go left. I'll show you the back. It's all right. And this is hot. While I'm at it, I'm gonna quickly show you guys another hope that I have had for a while now. And I have not changed the appearance of this hope. This hope has, has the original cute bob look and it is in the color Toffee Truffle. And I really do love this color as well. So this is Hote in Toffee Truffle. And this is your Hote. Changed up style, chocolate cherry from Mimo Wigs. Okay, so I've just decided that since Amber's doing another shade for you, I'm going to show you guys. This is Hot in Malibu Blonde, which is your 12FS12. And it is different from your 12FS8. It is absolutely gorgeous. You have these lovely shades 12 as your base, which runs throughout the wig. You can see those darker shades here. Sorry, excuse my moustache. Um, this is shade 12 right here, and that's what your rooting is. So actually, this looks like your hair shade. I believe this looks like your hair shade is shade 12, and you have just had a lot of blonde highlights. And I believe it's the FS on this. I believe it's 24B and 102 are two of the shades that run through as your highlights and you can see that bright vibrant 102 with your FS you can see the shade 12 and you can see 24B which is your warmer blonde shade it is truly stunning so I'm going to turn around and let you see Malibu Blonde Hot voila this is another gorgeous colour for somebody who is never into blonde hair I have become a true blondie thank you so much Michelle you are amazing if you have not ordered from Michelle or contacted Michelle, I just have to tell you um, her packages, number one, they're gorgeous. There's just something about receiving a package that's so pretty, it makes you feel special. She just goes the extra mile. Along with that, Michelle is so sweet and kind and generous and I can't rant and rave about that girl enough. She is such a generous, down to earth, kind hearted person and I just love her to death. Thank you, Michelle. I have had such a great time getting to know you better. Maybe one day we'll be able to meet in person, but doing this video has been a blast. All right, I'm gonna go rock my hoat. You look super hot, Michelle. I will see you guys later. Bye. And I'm back to the Palm Springs again. Oh my goodness, guys, right, okay, so here's a wee bit of a story for you, I will not take too long. So, Amber and I were getting, I don't know, we just kind of started getting to know each other via Instagram. Honestly, I kind of hated my alopecia at first, I hated my hair loss, I thought it was the worst thing in the world to ever happen to me. If I'm honest, I was at a very bad place when it happened, I was lucky, I had great support from my husband, my children, my parents, my friends, my family, my work, you know, I had so much support. Alopecia UK charity were just really, oh my goodness, amazing. But it was such a hard time for me and I thought it was the worst thing in the world. And see now, like three years on, I actually look at it and I think it's probably one of the biggest blessings I've ever had. Um, I felt I was a bit broken down with it all. I felt like I was losing myself, my own sense of identity. It was so difficult at the time. I looked in the mirror, no lashes, no brows, no nothing. Now I'm kind of like, this is cool. I have eyelashes and I'm wearing my eyelashes. And actually these are my own brand of eyelashes, which is a by the by. My brows, they might look mental to a lot of people, 
but I just draw them on and I change up how I do it every day. I have total freedom, I can just be who I am and whether you see me like this all caked up in my makeup, all my crazy eye makeup that I do, I go out like this, I also look like a potato or a thumb with no hair, no makeup, no nothing but do you know what, I'm the same person, I'm the same girl and with the joys of alopecia I have gotten to meet amazing people at Amber, she has a heart of gold, she is a mum of five children, she is a wife, she is an education ambassador for John and Oates, she is an all round wonderful person who genuinely just wants to help others and share her learning and information and being true, I suggested we do this video a wee while ago. Amber did it within about a week and sent me it for editing and if I'm honest, it's taken me about a month to actually get to review this. And I started watching her video, I have literally just seen it right through for the very first time to try and match in what I say and kind of work. So this video works together, I hope it has. Amber, you are truly amazing and oh my goodness, I actually I had to stop filming because I started crying because when you started talking about me I was like, no, that's that, it's so nice. I do try my best to help people and I know that Amber does too and you know, I think having alopecia or having hair loss, whether it's due to medical treatment, whether it's just something that's happened to you, you know, you can get through it. You are so beautiful. Alopecia and these conditions can take your hair away. They cannot remove your beauty and I hope that you guys always remember that. This has been amazing and Amber, we need to start doing this more frequently I think doing kind of joint videos together whether they are reviews whether they're showing off wigs whether they are you know whatever it's good fun um, I, we I just love Amber to bits she is so amazing guys but at the end of the day the most important thing about us doing this video is just to try and help you guys that are out there and Amber I love you so much and really hope that we do get to meet one day I really want to meet this girl she is amazing and I know it'll happen I believe it'll happen um, yeah, so thanks guys for tuning in to both of us and Amber, I wish I could give you a big hug. Um, but yeah, guys, I love you all and we will see you all very soon on my channel and on Amber's channel. So thanks for tuning in to us and yeah, take care. Feeling hot. Mwah. <laughs> Bye.